what's going on with the car detailing industry and is now a good time to start your car detailing business? So those are questions that you guys often ask and you're in for a treat because today is a very different and special type of video. So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So is it a good time to start your detailing business? The short answer is yes. The public has never been more aware of the importance of having their vehicle detailed and protected thanks in part to content creators who share their videos about product reviews, equipment reviews, uh, tutorials on how to do stuff either DIY or professionally. But not everybody has access to detail from their own home or to rent a shop or a location. So many guys, when they start off, they're mobile. And to be mobile, you need a vehicle, right? So either a van or a truck, and you need some form of a setup because the more organized you are, the more efficient you're gonna be. So you have to organize all your tools, your equipment, your auto detailing supplies and products, so on and so forth. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing how those vehicles are outfitted with the tools, equipment, uh, and stuff that you need to be a mobile detailer. So stay tuned all the way till the end because you're going to see the custom fabrication work. So from flooring to custom shelving to the water tanks, all the equipment that you need. And uh, to do so, I enlisted the help of Hector Hernandez Jr. So he's a um, filmmaker, but also a part business owner with his dad, Hector Hernandez Sr. They own the H2O Auto Detail Supply retail store. They operate from uh, Covina, California in the United States. And so they have a retail shop uh, for all your car detailing supplies needs. So equipment, tools, products, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll leave the links, by the way, to their social media. They have a YouTube channel and also their store in the description under the video for you guys to check that stuff out. They're known for their quality custom fabrication uh, for vans and uh, trailers that are needed by mobile detailers. Because when you're mobile, don't forget, it's a great opportunity to go out there, expand your horizons, uh, have new opportunities created, and also get of new territories or areas that are accessible to you because you're mobile. So in this video, again, you're going to see uh, the extent of the quality of the work of all their custom fabricators that they have. So without further ado, uh, Hector Hernandez Jr., why don't you take it away? Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Hector over here at H2O Auto Detail Supplies in Covina, California. You guys can go ahead and follow us on Instagram at H2O Auto Detail Supply or even subscribe to our own YouTube channel where we post our own videos. But for the most part, I want to say thank you to Pat and the Organizer for putting us on today's show. So today we're going to go ahead and show you guys how we get a van built from A to Z, starting from scratch and turning it into the client. That's what we've been doing for X amount of years now. And I think it's just something cool that we should show you guys just in case you want to get it done yourself. And it gives you a great example of how you get it done. All right. Now that you know a little bit more about us, I'm going to explain to you step by step on how we get this built. So for the most part, what we're working with is a Ford Transit Connect. This is not an XLT. It's a smaller uh, wheelbase transit, but in this, we're still going to be having plenty of equipment inside of it. What equipment you ask? We're going to be having a gas powered Honda GX 200 paired with a Viper pump. That sounds like a lot. It sounds crazy, but trust me, once you get used to this, you understand what I'm talking about. But yes, we have a gas powered pressure washer, a champion generator, which is a 4,500 watt inverter, which is super quiet and it's remote start. All our H2O combo frames that hold our reels. We have plenty of other things, plenty of accessories that we're also going to be installing. Now that you guys know exactly what we're putting inside this van and what equipment we're using, we're now getting started with phase one, getting the flooring done. Flooring is one of the most crucial parts about this build and any other build coming from cargo, sedan to truck, having a nice and sturdy platform to build upon makes the whole setup secure and also safer for you to use. But for the most part, it's very basic, but at the end of the day, if you skip this step, it ruins everything. We get a piece of wood, measure it out, make sure it fits the flooring nice and right and also covers all the surface evenly. Then once we get that piece of wood done and cut out, we went ahead and get a piece of diamond plate, cut it out as well, and then bend the metal, ensuring that we have no wood exposed, no flooring that is exposed as well. Now we even it out, mesh them together, and as well as 
Even before that, we send it out to get powder coated. Not painted, powder coated. This stuff gets sandblasted, and from there, it gets burned into the oven, toasted and roasted until the paint is on there nice and glossy. So alongside phase one, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our framework. We're gonna start measuring and cutting, then from there, welding, and also sending it out to get powder coated. Once this stuff comes back, we're gonna go ahead and get started and installing all of our equipment. It's hard to explain the way we came up with this system, this H2O combo frame that we have here. This has been made for about four to maybe three years in the making. With this, it always changes, but it always tends to stay the same. At the end of the day, all this stuff is customizable, but this is the one that we're building for this van here today. Everything just came back from powder coating. Now comes the fun part, phase two. Phase two is gonna consist of getting all our materials, getting all our equipment that just came back freshly powder coated. We're gonna go ahead and start drilling holes out and start bolting all this stuff together. The first thing you're gonna see me put in is gonna be the H2O combo frame. But before we get that in, I like to put a nice wall that divides the work frame and the water tank. Then from there, drill out the holes to get our reels mounted on top of the frame. Then from there, we move the H2O frame. We finesse it in the, in the van. It usually takes about two people to get it in there. Once we set it on there, we're gonna go ahead and start drilling four holes onto the frame. They're gonna go from frame, flooring, all the way to the bottom of the van. So we're gonna go drill through the van. It's only four holes. We're not drilling too many holes, but this stuff is gonna make it a lot stronger. Holding everything in place, just bolting it on there nice and tight. And then as well, the water tank frame, which is 100 gallons, is gonna be set, set in stone right behind the H2O combo frame. And that one's gonna have four holes as well. Then it go from frame, floor, to the bottom of the van. So again, all this stuff is super strong. It's gonna be bolted on there nice and tight. Because imagine, it's gonna be 100 gallons of water if it were to be filled, which 100 gallons of water equals to 800 pounds if full. So as you see, phase two is coming along pretty great now. We're almost about done. We have our water tank installed, our H2O frame, our water tank frame, and we're also gonna get our chemical rack installed as well. From there, now we all gotta install is our pressure washer. We're going back to the GX200. The GX200 gets mounted on top of these rubber grommets, which absorbs vibration, keeps the wear and tear down, and also the, the noise. Then from there, we're gonna go ahead and get our generator. But before that, we're gonna grab our generator slide out, mount it on top of the frame, bolt it in there, set in stone, and get our generator right on top of the slide out. The reason we have these slide outs now is through safety precautions. You do not wanna run your generator inside any building or any vehicle. By having a generator slide out, you don't have to move this heavy thing. All you gotta do is just unlock and slide it out and it's operating outside in the open environment. Phase two is now complete. We have pretty much everything set in stone and installed, all the hoses connected, and as well as all the equipment installed properly. So then from here, we move on to phase three. 
testing the equipment and also visually seeing everything is properly installed and then we'll move on to our review so once we move on to phase three we go ahead and prime the pressure washer get water filled up and as well as check oils check generator oils but I'm not gonna go ahead and bore you with all this stuff. Pretty much phase three is gonna be our testing phase, making sure that everything works properly. But from here, everything looks nice. Let's go ahead and give you guys the grand reveal of the van. Here we go. So now the van is now completely done and built out. I showed you guys how we got this stuff installed. We started off with getting the flooring done, getting measurements done, getting all the frames cut and welded. Then from there, we sent them out to get powder coated. Once they come back to get powder coated, that usually takes about two or three days. We went ahead and spent two days installing this stuff, making sure uh, we make the right cuts and doing a couple little adjustments. But as you see, the finishing product does look amazing. It looks like something that comes out of factory but as well, uh, let me go down what we have inside the van. So we have our custom powder coated uh, bottle holders, as well as our diamond plate that's powder coated, and our custom H2O frame, which holds all our reels. We have a 50 foot Cox reel vacuum hose, and as well as a Husky 50 foot retractable air reel. And we also have our Cox reel, which is 100 feet for your pressure washer. And we, he, he went ahead and went with a gas powered pressure washer, which is a Honda motor with the AR pump. And for the most part, we connected all the plumbing and we also got a bucket full of hose right here. And it's all set in stone onto our frame. And then another goodie that we also did was we put a champion generator right here. It's very quiet to work with. So this is one of the best ones that you could go with. And as well as having a safety precaution, we have this sliding out so it's not inside of your van. So, oh, and then as well, if you come over here on this side, we as well have a 50 foot retractable extension cord reel. So just in case you wanna power something else externally from the van, which for the most part, everything you do need is a quick sleight of hand coming inside of the van. You don't have to take anything out. If we go in the back, this is where we're gonna have our compressor and the client's gonna bring his own vacuum as well. So once he brings it in, we're gonna go ahead and install it for him and make sure everything's uh, set in stone. And then for the most part in the back, we have a hundred foot gallon tank that's for your spot free water and that way you're completely mobile as well and you have your three tier gallon rack shelf which you can put tools you can put uh, plenty of gallons that could fit about 20 gallons whether they're rounded or whether they're square and that would definitely fit right there and you have plenty of space to add more things and more tools so again, I wanna give Panda Organizer a special thanks to letting us showcase our builds and what we do over here at H2O. For the most part, I wanna give a special thanks to my team over here at H2O, from installers to welders, and ensuring your guys' setups get done right. And of course, again, thank you Panda Organizer. And if you guys do at all wanna contact us, make sure you DM us on Instagram. If not, give us a call, or just even come visit us. We'll be more than willing to help you, or even get you started, or even our professional detailers that are already out there day in, day out. Thank you. H2O.